Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable anti-X-Ray on your server. X-Ray can be a huge problem for servers like SMPs, as people can basically just look through the ground and find the ores that they need. So in this video, I'm going to show a plugin and also just a config you can change if you are running the paper version of Minecraft. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first method I'm going to show you is by changing the config if you're running a version of paper. So of course, first of all, make sure you do actually have paper installed. You can do this from the jar and pre-install menu and then select the latest version of paper or whichever version you'd like to do. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to the left to the file manager. Once here, we then need to go into config. Although if you are running 1.18 or below, you can actually find the file in here. It will be called paper.yml. But as you can see here, paper.yml, as you can see, they've all moved. So now if we go back, we can actually find them in the config folder. So if we go in here and then go to paper world defaults.yml, we can actually see the first result here is anti-cheat. So what we're going to do is simply enable it. So we're going to change it from false to true. Once you've done that, you can then choose your engine mode. So on the screen right now, there's a little preview of what each engine mode does. Engine mode one tries to filter out all nearby ores that aren't visible and turns them into the blocks around them. And engine mode two, essentially when people see blocks that they aren't meant to see, they all appear as ores. So they can't tell where ores are and where ores aren't. So we're going to keep it to one for this video. You can then change which blocks are hidden. So of course, all the ores and everything like that will be hidden by default. But let's say, for example, you wanted a very specific block to be hidden from X-rayers. You could simply add it into the hidden blocks and then save. And then as you can see the replacement blocks. So this is what it will turn the ores into either stone, oak planks, or deep slate. And obviously this depends on where it is. So once we've done that, we can then go ahead and click save. And then we'll restart our server. So now if we go ahead and join our server, if we use an X-ray texture pack, you can see that the amount of ore is drastically reduced. And if you think about how much there was at the start of the video and how much there is now, it's honestly a huge difference. So in that file with the hidden blocks, it actually didn't include amethyst, which is why we can still see all of the amethyst. So if you want to, go ahead and add them to the hidden blocks list as well. But yeah, this really works great. And now this isn't actually deleting any ores. It's just hiding them if they're not in view of the player. So the ores are actually all still there. Just if you can't actually see it, then it won't render itself in as an actual ore. So that is very simply how to do it with paper. Now I'm going to show you how you can use a plugin to do this instead. So before we do get into installing the plugin, you need to make sure that you are running a version which does support plugins. So if we go to our jar and pre-install menu right here, we can then choose from paper, spigot or craft bucket. And these three versions will all support this plugin. We're going to select paper 1.19.2. Then if you go down to the link in the description, you'll be taken to this plugin. So now if we click download now, it will take us to the GitHub where we can then find the jar file. We'll then click it and you can just save it where you'd like. However, we're not quite done yet, as if you look in the installation, we also need to download protocol lib. So we can go ahead and click on this, and then also just click on the jar file. Go ahead and download it. Then we need to go to our server files. So on the left, go to the file manager, and then into the plugins folder, where we're simply gonna click upload, file, and then select both the plugins, upload them, and then there we go. So now we can go ahead and restart our server. But yeah, so this is what it looks like without X-Ray. And then if we turn X-Ray on, and as you can see, it's absolute chaos with all the ores. So completely ruining the X-Ray user's experience, which of course we want to happen. Also, of course, these aren't real ores. So if we are to just go ahead and break them, as you can see, they're just gonna keep changing every time a block near them changes. And yes, I'm creative, but you are not gonna get anything from them as you're just breaking stone. Now, since it is a plugin, there is some stuff to go over in the config as well just to make it a bit more personalized for your server. Okay, so once again, we're gonna go back to our file manager and then into our plugins folder and then into Orbfuscator, where we then go into config.yml and then there you go. So one thing you might wanna change is ignore spectator. And this will mean that if someone is in spectator mode, the anti-X-ray actually won't take place, meaning that they'll see everything completely normally. Now, if you go back to the plugins page, you can scroll down to this configure tab right here. If you then open this up, it basically explains every single thing in the config and what it does. So feel free to absolutely check through yourself and change anything you want. But I'm still going to show a few more anyway. So here, of course, you can change the blocks which are hidden. And of course, you can remove any or add any to this list. If we scroll down here, we also have the obfuscation of the nether, which we can change to false. 
then this would mean if you are using x-ray in the nether it wouldn't just appear as a ton of ores so if you want them to be able to use x-ray in the nether then obviously change this to false you can also do the same thing with the end if you come down to obfuscation end you can change that to false as well and then each of these dimensions also have hidden blocks which are independent from the overworld ones which of course you can also change to what you want as well but yeah as i said the documentation will pretty much show you everything you need to know so anyway hopefully this video has helped you out if it has definitely leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time